Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to Teacher Lapwai's Science Lesson. Today's science lesson we have eat, digest, and poop. So tell me, what's your favorite food? Hmm. Well, mine is sandwich. Do you see my sandwich here? I'm going to eat my sandwich soon. My sandwich. Mm. This is good. He's eating too. Hmm. But do you know where the food goes after swallowing? After you swallow, the food is being pushed down your gullet into your stomach. Oh wait. Do you know where or when the digestive process starts? The mouth. The digestive process starts in your mouth. Don't believe? Let's take a look. So, where did you and your salivary glands make saliva, which is the digestive juice, it will moisten the food. So it moves more easily through your gullet. Saliva also has an enzyme that begins to break down starches in your food. When you're ready to swallow, your tongue will help out to push the food toward the back of your throat and down the gullet and into the stomach. Imagine gullet as a choo-choo train. Choo-choo train that help transport your food to the stomach. Stomach is like a mixer where it churn and mash the food into smaller pieces with the digestive juices. And now this is how a stomach looks like. Mm. Now, let's head over to the small intestine and take a look. Do you know that the small intestine is a super long tube? An adult small intestine can go up to 7 meters long. Imagine the length of a car is 3 meters. So, that takes about 2.5 car length. Your food will spend as long as 4 hours here. Because that's the end of the digestion journey. The nutrients from the food will then pass from the intestine into the blood. Now you may be asking, how about the large intestine? So now you're looking at our large intestine, which is fatter than the small intestine. It doesn't do any digestion. All it does is to absorb the water from the leftover food and the leftover waste will form the stool, which is your poop. So do you see the importance of digestive system? Do look after your intestine by drinking plenty of water. Have a healthy diet with lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. And not forgetting exercises too. Oh wait, don't forget to wash your hands before you eat. Alrighty, that's our short, short lesson for today on eat, digest and poop which is our digestive system. So stay tuned for the next lesson coming up. See you again soon.